Oh God. Can we hear you? Yes, I can hear me. <laughs> what do you call it, Marcus? <laughs> That's the best harmony we've ever done. And I know because I'm wearing headphones. Can I be honest? No. I'm on my third cup of coffee today because I want nothing to do with you. This is That's I'm about just being me? nasty. No, I'm, you literally five seconds ago he said, "You guys, we can't fight at the beginning of every episode." Well, no, I said we can't fight <laughs> about everyone out sick the of the fight about my hair. Verbally abusing a pregnant woman. Hey, Shane. Can I join the fight? Yeah, yes. please. <laughs> I'm Depends so who said sick. Okay, you. I love your hair. I think it's really cool, but. <laughs> You hate it so much, but then when I give you advice on how to fix it, you don't take it. And then I say, we, like right now, I looked over and I was like, oh, he's going to hate this. And then, but you were like, ooh, I look good. And then press record and now you hate it. Well, no, I took your advice, Shane. I just got out of the shower, let it go back. It's like <clears throat> semi in the middle part. No, I'm just not. taking too much. Yes, it is. I'm taking too much feedback from too many people. And I would not- actually argue that you're taking feedback from no one. I No, you want the side part. Everyone else no, hates the side you, part. You're not taking Shane Shane's likes, either. Shane likes the middle part. No, you messy need to stop too. pushing it back. Cause when you push it back, it's like Barbara from Shark Tank. You need to let it come <laughs> I keep telling him he needs to look like a lesbian. <laughs> you need to push it forward. Like push it forward and let it all fall in front of you versus the, you know? Uh, No, I don't know. Okay. Like you like how I look just every day Watch. around the Put house. Put your hands in the middle. Swoop it in the middle. Swoop well, it. Come what on. if it looks swoop, good it. right now and come then on. I ruin it? Who cares? You want me to swoop it? Doesn't. It doesn't. Swoop it in the middle. In the middle, like right. No, like this. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then shake your head forward. Like. Like look down. You want the forward. 90s middle Oh part. my god, it's already so much better. And then yeah, look up. There's little pieces hang. Uh, Wait, look at me. There's little pieces hang. It's very like '90s, like Pennywise. <laughs> we definitely have two different objections. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If well, that that's what's getting conflicting. Like I also like the middle part. She violently hates the middle part, and if she even sees a glimpse of me with the middle part, she like gets really nasty really fast. Well, and then the that's what he wants is the middle part. So it's like my husband and my best friend have me pulled in different listen, directions. Listen, <laughs> listen, you pick a side, and I will love you through it. I pick the middle side part. <laughs> that was a bad choice. <laughs> and I also I've been Snapchatting. If you're not following me on Snapchat, I'm like kind of daily vlogging on there, and uh, everyone on Snapchat also agrees it's the middle part. Wow. Mm-hmm. It's a smaller audience there, though, right? You just, <laughs> you just hate the '90s, I guess. I, I don't think it's that. I, it's the, it's the, ex, it's your personal execution of the middle part. Okay. I, I agree. Yeah. Ah! Uh, you're not, commi- um, you're not committing. To okay. Me. Yeah. You guys talk for a second. I'm gonna look in this mirror. <laughs> you need like, you need more texture. You need to stop. Well, like, you well, need to let it be fluffy. <laughs> That's no, what I keep saying. It back. You're pushing it back. Like he needs a root lift and he needs a texture and he needs a little bit of bomb on the sides. Yes. And then if he really worked on manipulating the middle part so that it wasn't Marifuville, right. yes. it would be a whole Mar- ass vibe. Yes. But he's doing nothing. It's very like older brother on Boy Meets World when it's okay. right. Well, when, when it's <laughs> wrong, it's Here's the thing. Projected. I had texture spray and something happened to that. It got lost in the mail. And I think I do need a little bit of mousse for just some added volume. Uh, but we're starting to get closer to I don't know whatever we're all sick of my hair so we were in the kitchen just now today's episode's a flop because I had planned a Valentine's Day episode I said oh Shane what do you think the Valentine's Krispy Kreme the Papa I was giving him the Valentine's Day rundown and he goes you can't post a Valentine's Day themed thing even though it's on Valentine's Day because then it's over the very next day cut to us in heart sweaters (laughs) (laughs) But the Valentine's merch on shitofmerch.com <laughs> is still available. Yeah, you still want to plug the Valentine's Day merch, but I can't eat the Valentine's Day Krispy Kreme. Listen, I'm the listen. one making the thumbnail, and I don't want to make two thumbnails. So I know what's going to happen. I'm going to make the thumbnail with all the Valentine's Day shit, and then it's going to like flop two days later. You're going to freak out, and then I'm going to have to remake a thumbnail. Like, no, we're but not doing that. when you presented that to me, I understand, because Christmas, I'm so lit for all of November and December, and then Christmas happens, and I'm like, done. I'm turn off the Christmas music, take down the Christmas tree. So I understand. You guys probably aren't going to want to watch us eat Valentine's Day food the day after Valentine's Day. We're sick of it. But then I was like, well, I have nothing else to talk about. All I do is take care of babies and and work. So you've got stuff on here. uh, I mean, not much. You seem very angry. Yeah. (laughs) No, but then so we're standing in the kitchen. My husband, Shane, let me tell you. (laughs) 
He is not only my... And I've been loving you a lot lately, huh, Shane? It's weird, yeah. <laughs> it's They're crazy. Only for an hour a day. I get, like, love rage. You know how I you're talking yeah. about with the babies, how you get cuteness rage? Yeah. Lately, I've just been looking at Shane thinking, oh, my gosh, I love you so much. And I run right. up to him, and I just, like, burrow inside, yeah. and I just, like, scratch and kiss and love him. And he's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I just love you so much. But I'm not awake for that. I'm not ready for that. I haven't pooped yet. Like, I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> and then when it's later and I am ready for that, you hate me. So yeah. I don't know what to do. But then I make you a thumbnail and yeah. you like me for like five minutes. Oh, please. We're not doing this. No, we barter. Listen, there's things that you give and take in every marriage. And ours is bartering house chores for thumbnails. Wow. Well, he's also very cheap. So if I say like, if there's something I really don't want him to do and I want him to do it, he's like, no, no, no. And then I say, okay, I'll just, I'll postmate you lunch. And he's like, okay. I'm like it's $30. postmating $30. lunch is a lot of money. If you're postmating just for yourself, yeah. it's thirty five dollars. Yeah, and so I'll do anything for a thirty five dollar lunch. I get that, and whatever. <laughs> I I barter with Joe. And what's yours? Sometimes it's as pathetic as just a Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but I had a point. What what was I going on about been loving him? Oh, so then Shane came through. We had our pediatrician, our two month uh, appointment with for the boys, mm -hmm. and Shane was like, "Why don't you just do pregnancy cravings?" And I'm like, "Lizzie doesn't have pregnancy cravings. Yet. She's having pregnancy of virgins." And he goes, "Well, just Google the most common ones and Postmate to the house like if." the most common pregnancy cravings are something that appeal to Lizzie right now. I love it. I was like, I can't execute that. And he goes, okay, you go into this and I will order. So he <laughs> door dashed everything for us and he has them all ready to go. I and that's some really good ones too. I don't want to brag, but I chose ones that I had never heard of before. So I'm so excited. Specific. The combinations I glanced. So not only did he order them for me, he wrote them down as like how I'm going to package them together and present them to you and all of you. Wait, now I need to do, do it right now. Don't you love my husband? husband for us i've always loved your husband for us <laughs> so well, much can we talk about that fight oh what? because so last <laughs> night so every night rylan disappears for like three hours on his phone and he's always <laughs> smiling and smirking and i know what he's doing he's talking to lizzie and then last night he goes he started laughing i said what he goes i'm just so funny and i said why and he goes i'm just so funny <laughs> and i said how so he shows me the conversation they're having he's and it made dead no silence. fucking sense <laughs> made no fucking sense I was like, where's the punchline? Where's the joke? And he's just like right there. And I was like, how is that funny? And then he's just dying laughing. He's like, Lizzie gets it. And I was like, okay, whatever. Wait, what was he saying? Literally nothing. Like we're talking about nothing. But I'm laughing. You guys laughing are talking about Taylor Swift and her boyfriend or something. Which like, the was... way he spoke after the Super Bowl, I don't know how you all are still like sex. I get it. He's like a star and he's like, I'm happy that they're in love. But the way he was screaming after that game, I would have lost my lady boner for him. He was singing him. He, sing, screaming. Scream singing. Viva Las Vegas. It was too much. Oh my God. You are too much. They cut away to Taylor Swift and I could see even her boner was going down. Yeah, she was a little embarrassed, which I totally, I get it. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think she was embarrassed. I think she loves his freak flag. And for some reason, my feed was ahead of Lizzie's. And so, oh no. yeah, no, I, I didn't see, I don't know why I keep trying to move away from my mic to see Shane after I was like, I don't need to see him. <laughs> um, my TV was delayed by like three minutes. Yeah. Cause I'd be like, can you you see him screaming Lizzie and she's like not yet this no other everyone guy's still texted talking. me the Chiefs just won I was like what the fuck are you talking about there's 30 seconds left in this game and nobody has won and so all of this to say I said to Eliz Elizabeth I said oh my god he just proposed oh and didn't she fall didn't for get it. it no I didn't fall for it whatever let me just say I understand how Taylor was feeling because I have seen that face like I've been on stage accepting you know shitty ass awards <laughs> No, every word is amazing, but you know, like Webby, whatever. And I've said something stupid. And I look and whoever I'm dating in the audience is always looking like Taylor was like, just like, oh my God, what am I doing? Why am I here? And I could feel that energy. And it is like, she is the star. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So for her to like, I, I get it. You want to be supportive in every relationship. I think it's cool that she's found uh, equal in a way that is somebody as, as passionate and driven and successful in his lane yeah. as she is in her own. Mm -hmm. But it does, she feels too too big of a star to be like the groupie for him to me. I mean, I think that he knows that also. And he lets her be the bigger star. No one is bigger than Taylor Swift. Like, what's she supposed to do? Date Paul McCartney? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, who's she supposed to date? Who's her? Who is her equal? No, I'm happy for them. Who outshines her? No, right now, no one. Exactly. So it is she supposed to be alone with her mother for the rest of her life? <laughs> Just her and Papa Swift? No. She needs a beautiful, sweet buffoon loser. Okay, before we lose Shane, uh, <laughs> anything from your week that you want to discuss with us, Shane? 
Oh, me? Yeah. Well, wait, all of this was the whole point of me bringing that up was that there was a story that I that I was told was from my podcast. You said, oh, my God, Lizzie had a dream about you. And I said, what was it? And he goes, oh, save it. She'll tell you on your podcast. <laughs> no, oh, my God. No, I didn't. That's always been on our here, document. And Rylan's like, can you come be on my podcast? I have nothing to talk about. And I was like, you're really desperate if you want me there. And he's like, I have nothing to talk about. So I'm like, and then he goes, oh, oh, I got it. Lizzie, you tell Shane about the dreams. And I was like, that's for my podcast. It wasn't. I gave the, you pregnancy um, craving. I gave you so uh, many listen, things. Listen, and I heard he gives you, you thumbnails. I heard him loud and clear. <laughs> and I merch? said, you know what? If you come on for five minutes, then you can have Lizzie's <laughs> crazy dreams about you because this was on the document last week, her dream about you, but now they're snowballing and she's had really? multiple dreams yeah, about you. Yeah, it won't you. stop. It's the weirdest but thing, are they Shane. Like, oh, are, give me the category that they're in. Is Not sexual, but dick out. Yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> like, okay. No, and some are sexual, but they're not for me. <laughs> right. It isn't. When my dick's out, it's really never sexual. It's bizarre it's more what's happening in my mind i'm saving i'm saving this right okay, for, yeah, the okay. the, for the sdp tune into shane's podcast <laughs> if you watch our podcast i'm definitely sure that you watch shane's podcast so that will be out in what two weeks from now shane what's uh, going on over there i don't know wait what you just look like you're being attacked oh no i was looking at a bug bite uh, no um you know it's funny though you'll get comments now that'll be like uh i hate shane's podcast i only like you guys you know what i mean like that's always there so us? Shout, out, shout out to the ones in the in the comments who are saying that really well, you know what i mean like when you say like 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 when you do when you say something like that on a podcast all the comments are going to be like no we actually hate that podcast oh uh, uh, i mean but i'm like on the, that podcast the, like the too sippers, so it's the like... sippers. <laughs> and so is chris it's literally like half yeah, this but podcast the sippers, they got the sippers are a crew you know what i mean and, and the thank god for the together. sippers they've given us all we jobs for like three yeah, years also, now i'd like to say hello to a sipper named philip mason thank you so much for your support sir is he bullying you no philip mason has been he went to ucla with me and he was a friend of mine he let me film a bunch of stuff at his house and we used to fuck around together and do short films all the time and then he moved to norcal but he's hit me with a text last week saying congratulations on your pregnancy he said he called himself a sipper that's the first place i heard sipper oh i thought i just made that up i love it i do too i wish we could figure out merch one day again and we could have sipper mer i'm a sipper or i'm a, I'm a mm. mm, feels like you're ripping off grower it's a working title which is way better <laughs> okay <laughs> see no there'll be comments oh i hate the grower merch i, I want sipper merch you know what i mean I mean, play into it. Will we have sippers and pourers? Should we just start an all-out <laughs> war? Yes. <laughs> Is this a gang war? Start a war? You act like I can figure out merch. I know. It's not like we figured out the first merch either. <laughs> no. No, we so, were helped with that. Um. Yeah. yeah. Our babies, our, our pediatrician appointment was today. Everything's looking great. <sighs> what? I just, do people want this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they keep saying they do. They're like, give us more baby what stuff. What else are you going to get from me right now? And like, I don't yeah. know what else to deliver at the moment. I was looking through my photos like I always do to be like, oh, what happened to me this week? It's literally just babies. Babies. So it's, I don't have anything else to go no, off No, something of. else happened to you this week. What? Well, do you, do you, is this a waste of Shane's time? What, tell me the topic and we can excuse him or not. <laughs> Rylan and I, for the first time, experienced the We Are the World song this week. Oh, God. And our I lives are forever is, changed for the better. I don't think this is quite for we anyone. We are the world. Lizzie and I had a date. Well, okay, Shane, do you, do you have anything else you want to give the sippers before you go? I feel like the energy has just been so toxic and angry. Oh, my <laughs> God. And I just, I don't understand why it's just, I thought we all loved each other. We do. This is what love feels like. See what I mean? It was, it you were so nice to me two hours ago. Two I, hours ago. You think, no, I've been nice to you this whole time. I just sucked your dick publicly uh, for what? producing <laughs> the podcast. Oh, right, right. right. Metaphorically, and, yeah. there's no dick sucking anywhere on the internet for you to view. Right. And on top of that, uh, I've been very nice. What are you talking about? You were the one that shut me down. I started talking about our baby's doctor appointment and you said, this is boring. Okay, you know what? You're right. I'm I'm giving out bad energy. I'm sorry. We have a new sponsor today who I'm very excited about and that is Collective. Tax season is almost here, which means more paperwork and more headaches for you and your solo small business. But you do not have to handle it alone. Let Collective take care of all your tax needs this year. Collective is an all-in-one finance solution for self-employed entrepreneurs that 
lets you focus on your passion, not your paperwork. Let Collective handle all the back of office work you dread like business information, compliance, taxes, bookkeeping, accounting, and even payroll. The best part, it's at a fraction of the cost of a CPA. Collective specializes in S-Corps, a tax elective that saves its members on average of $10,000 per year. So if your business is one of one, making at least $60,000 in annual profit, then you could be missing out on thousands in tax savings every year. The earlier you elect in 2024, the more money you could put back in your pocket. For a limited time, Collective is waiving the onboarding fee when you go to collective.com slash SIP and tell them SIP sent you. That's $199 value for free when you go to collective.com slash SIP and tell them SIP sent you. That's collective.com slash SIP and tell them SIP sent you. Today's podcast is sponsored by Stitch Fix. And I know if you're like me that you're frustrated with not having the right wardrobe to match your evolving lifestyle, whether you're on vacation, looking for maternity wear, or simply just bored of your old clothing choices, the stylists at Stitch Fix make sure you always have something to wear. Stitch Fix is the best way to shop new styles and brands. You can think of them as your style partner. Your stylist will learn about your tastes and collaborate with you on looks you'll love without breaking the bank. You simply just share your preferences, sizes, and budget with Stitch Fix, and they'll send you five items in a fix right to your door. With your choices in mind and sizes from extra small to 3XL, they'll find your perfect fit. You can try on everything at home, keep what you like, and send back the rest. Shipping and returns are always free, plus they have over a thousand brands and styles. So no matter what season of life you're in, Stitch Fix has you covered. You can simply order a refresh as needed, or set it and forget it with regular fixes you're in complete control. Over time, Stitch Fix and their seasoned style experts will match you with greater precision to perfect pieces for you based on your likes and dislikes. I do not like shopping for clothing, and I always find find myself in a place where I get invited to an event or a dinner and I have nothing to wear and that's why I enjoy Stitch Fix because I can tell them what kind of outfit I'm looking for and they'll deliver it to me right to my door. So thank you Stitch Fix. They get me and they will get you too. Try today at stitchfix.com slash sip and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.com slash sip. Stitchfix.com slash sip. Okay, I have a question for Lizzie. How open are you going to be about your pregnancy? Are you going to be like a pregnancy vlogger? Are we going to hear about diameters? Like, are we going to get in it? Okay, it's funny that you asked that because I literally just finished cutting my first pregnancy vlog. And in it, I was very open with Ryland, like down to like the milliliters of semen inside me. (laughs) And then as I was cutting it, I was like, "Mm, I'm going to take that out. (laughs) I'm going to take that out. And so I don't I don't know, to be completely honest, like Um, I I have a question. What? What does that mean? <laughs> what? what do you mean the milliliters of semen inside your... What do you mean? No, I didn't know how much... I just... I didn't know how many milliliters of semen were inside me. But I did Like, I meant like I shared a lot of information on the podcast. In the... What is it called? The, the vlog. vlog. And I decided as I was editing it today that I didn't want to share that much. Because it felt like it wasn't just mine to share. It felt like it was Joe's to share. And he didn't give his consent for it. And I oh, I have a question about Joe. Yeah. He's okay. real. He is real. I know that. You were at the wedding. But, okay, so he doesn't like to be talked about or shown on the Oh, no, we talk about him all the time. Oh, we talk about him all the time. Or I bet shown, right? Because, like, you make me put emojis over his face. Yeah, he doesn't like to be shown. But then, but he is shown on your Instagram. I know. It's a confusing thing. it's confusing me. The way that he describes it is he doesn't want to be, like, it's not like that. I don't know. I don't really understand it. So I just sort of, like, abide by it. But it's like. Because he's he's not in your vlogs either, right? Mm Mm-mm. He's not in my vlogs. He'll come in while I'm filming and he'll say something really funny. I'll be like, oh, get closer to behind the camera and say it off camera. And he won't even do that. Interesting. It's but he's really, not hiding his identity for any shady no. reason because he's still in your stories. I think what it is is he doesn't want his character to be perceived. Mm. And I get that. Based upon, yeah, because even somebody that shares their lives as much as us, you're still getting a small sliver. Yeah. And you're ju- you get to make your judgments based on small pieces of our lives which is ridiculous because when i am filming he's like he's on in the background but he won't be close enough for it to be audible which is enraging (laughs) and he did over christmas agree to be in a vlog and we literally did a whole starbucks taste test and then at the end of it i was like i don't know if he's likable in this (gasps) and so i just never posted it what oh my god that's gonna make him even more insecure about being vocal on your channel i don't think he has insecure i don't think it's an insecurity i think it's a it's like he doesn't want to share it 
And you couldn't cut him to be more likable because that's what I had to do with <laughs> with me. <laughs> that's what I was doing with Ryland, and, and I think it worked. No, you you lean into me being like the worst version of myself. Well, now I do because I think it is really funny. Like I think the whole thing about you being bougie and this and that. Like I think it is so funny because like before I knew what like actually being canceled entailed, uh, I thought like. Uh, my like mini cancellations were like people saying that I was just being so obnoxious with purchases and also just yeah like being too lux right was a, a problem for me for a while and now Shane's like just lean into it yeah be, it makes you happy and also like you know how much I hate consumerism if I thought you had a problem I would tell you <laughs> <laughs> thank you support you um and if you want to consume some things yourself go to shane dawson merch.com get these cute designs these are some of your best oh my god birds are fake i didn't even get to read these this is so good we're in a simulation it wasn't me it was ai that is my new go-to <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's very cute. Okay, Shane, thank you so much for joining our podcast. Uh, okay, it's... well, so when are you going to do the pregnancy? I want to at least see one. Did you uh, even bring the food out? No, because there's like things that are temperature sensitive. Uh, so I'm going to break down before I go and do that. If you okay. want to produce this podcast even more, well, I have to go produce our podcast. Oh. Um, Okay, mm -hmm. I was just gonna say you could prepare like some of the items. And You're gonna make me prepare <laughs> Don't everything. Don't you dare, Rylan Adams. Oh my Don't gosh. you fucking dare. We can prepare. <laughs> okay, I love that you so tongue. much. I love you so much. So much the fun. father of my children. Thank you, Shane. I love you all. <laughs> I love him more than ever. I do. Period. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Perfect. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Okay, Elizabeth. Yeah. Um, I knew my husband wasn't want to get going to get into the gossip of the Super Bowl. That's why I stopped you in your tracks. Oh, I wasn't talking about the Super Bowl. I was literally talking about We Are the World. Oh, okay. Continue. Chris, have you seen the <clears throat> We Are the World documentary? No. Have you guys seen the We Are the World documentary? I was forced to go on a date with Lizzie this week. Uh, not only was the canyon that we went to closed because of the rain, which <laughs> I drove an hour to, and then it was we're, like, sorry, wait, this canyon's closed. Wait, we're so fucking stupid, Chris. I'm literally like, pick me up. Let's go hiking. On Monday, literally the day before, Rylan was like, did you see Fryman's closed because cars are like falling down the way, like the, uh, the mountain and there's mudslides and it's all fucked up and houses are like, it's over. It's a catastrophe. The next day I was like, let's go to Fryman. <laughs> I thought nothing of it. I was like, uh, it's a little cold. I'll throw on a jacket. Let's go for it. It's so shut down. They're literally pumping water off the trail because it's flooded as fuck. Oh, no. So we did not do Fryman. <laughs> And said we went to Runyon. Which was too gnarly. What do you mean? That was too much for a pregnant woman, and you know it. <laughs> At one point, we're crawling up the fucking... We're fucking free soloing up that goddamn mountain. And he goes, maybe this is a bad idea for a pregnant woman. I was like, yeah, I'm one tumble away from losing everything. <laughs> well, I did make her take a pretty rough shortcut, and I go... Maybe we should turn around. Um, and so on our way home, we really started bumping some oldies. Yeah, some classics, if you will. Classics for us. Classics. <laughs> no, they're classics for the world. It's the We Are the World song. No, I know, but the Everybody other song. Everybody knows what the song. What was the other song? The other songs? Yeah. Well, the other one. Um, there was the, the Armageddon song. I don't want to miss one kiss. I just want to stay with you and I. Okay, all right. Just like so, this. So, We Are the World. We are the no. children. Nobody <laughs> hear you sing. <laughs> <laughs> they came out with a document. If this is the best story you have for our podcast. Fuck you. I'm... It's a big fucking deal. All okay. right. <laughs> Anyways, I've seen the Netflix documentary, We Are the World, three times. I did it consecutively three days in a row. You're Loved sick. it. Loved it. And so Sat is it there. a doc? Yeah, it's a documentary. I sat there beaming. I the whole time three Bring, days in a row you tell us about it that's about all i know it's like i black out a little <laughs> bit when it comes on and i'm just like in a euphoric little pink cloud i know but so is it just a documentary that documents all these powerful artists getting together to sing their verse on this song do you know why the song was absolutely not i know nothing okay, about it so the we are the world song was born and bred of a man whose name i can't recall which is shocking because i've spent three days with him <laughs> um, i'm pretty bored already no it's like bonafuco Okay, what's the point of talking about the song? <laughs> it's beautiful and our generation needs a We Are The World. So this one guy who was like a big music deal, I think he sang that song that's popular because of the movie Beetlejuice. 
the fact that I've seen this documentary three times <laughs> and know nothing is so disturbing to me. But this must be another symptom of pregnancy. Anyway, the guy who made the song that's a big deal in Beetlejuice, baby. Notice that there were I'm people. checked out. I'm Shut honestly, I'm, I've clicked out if no, I'm an audience click member. Click back in because children are dying of starvation in Africa and we need to fucking feed them. And we needed to feed them then and we gotta feed them now. We gotta keep feeding them. We gotta make sure they eat. So this guy. The Beetlejuice song guy. He said, we need to do something. We need to per- we need to help Africa. And in order to do that, he thought, I'm going to bring awareness to this because if more people knew about it, they w- it would be like an undeniable thing. Like if the world knew that there was a mother who had a child and they both died and the baby was two months old from starvation holding each other's hands, like that's fucked and sad. So he was like, I'm going to make this song with so many fucking famous people that the world's going to have to stop and pay attention because it's such a big deal. So then he went to Sophia Richie's dad, Lionel Richie, whose name I know. <laughs> he goes to Lionel Richie, who was a big deal at the time as a singer. And Lionel Richie... Felt like a pretty big dig. Jeez. What? Who was a big producer at the time. No, you can't I'm, just I'm, just, I'm letting you know he was a big deal. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm assuming you don't know who he is. Can you times two this story? <laughs> no, but they can in, in, in the YouTube. Okay, come on. Then he pairs up with Michael Jackson. And then him and Michael Jackson, they write a song together. And then it's great. And it's awesome. And then they need to start getting all these people together. But when you think about the world's most famous people, it's really hard to get them all in a room because they're all very, very fucking busy. They, and you, in order to get these people coming in, you need another big, fam- like a big famous name. So like the first person that they were able to land. Oh, no, they realized there was a, a music award show that Watch night that the like, documentary. I'm sure no, it's great. No, no, it's beautiful. The I, point is, we need a We Are the World. We are a Don't fucking, we already have it? No, we're a generation divided. That was their generation. This is ours. And I'm so fucking sick of everybody in our generation being like like right now how i just suggested that we have a gang war with the shane dawson podcast like that's crazy we should we are the world it get shane back in here we're writing a fucking song and we're feeding africa (laughs) but like honestly this was such a unifying thing bruce springsteen fucking is this new to and chris is on dan Aykroyd, who like why are these people in a room together but they're all unified for one night they got together one night after an award show to record a song until seven o'clock in the morning the world's biggest names fucking bob dylan she's playing it in my car and she screams the name of whoever goes on when it's their slide she's like bob dylan (laughs) cindy lopper stevie wonders in there and you just see what a sweet man he is because like some of the people who were singing were uncomfortable and so he would make them come like stevie wonder would go out of his way to make them comfortable and it was just like a beautiful night where people were kind to each other and there was an objective outside of money well they were raising money it wasn't about them making personal gains though no one was paid to make the song nobody was paid to film the documentary around it and it was a big fucking deal and i really think that it's important that we step outside ourselves and we start doing something that's fucking important and then when they release the song all over the fucking world radio stations at exactly the same time played the same fucking song kids all over the world are doing sign language do we are the world an entire subgroup of human beings who were hiding underneath the santa cruz beach boardwalk the other versions of us came together and held hands just kidding that's a jordan peele movie it's not the documentary okay, i think this is a great cause and i am so happy that you're fired up about it. i'm just saying you guys like let's not forget we are the world <laughs> okay we yeah, are the, the children. children. Chris likes it too. Lizzie came in singing it and Chris Everyone joined likes in. It. Bro, it goes so <laughs> hard. It never, it goes so long. You are peaking. Lizzie, oh, so, sorry. Uh, thank you for letting me know as I'm not a headphone user today uh, for my hair. And if I have a breakdown when I, gl- oh, never mind. Okay, focus. Um, and I that, will- that song is 20 minutes long. We're in the car and we're in back-to-back bumper traffic. And I look down 10 minutes later and Lizzie goes, it's only halfway through. We are. <laughs> and I go, oh, okay. Great. You just sounded so Springsteen. It was beautiful. <laughs> and the you. headphone. I've it was really nice. I've never heard somebody say yeah. I have a good voice. No, it was great. Okay, so. But, and I will say this. I feel like the closest equivalent we have to something like this is like, Two weeks ago, Demi Lovato performed heart attack at a convention for oh. people who have had heart attacks. I saw so that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. That's crazy. <laughs> How does that feel close to this? Because she was doing charitable work. She just kind of missed the mark. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like when Taylor and Swift also, brought up Lana Del Rey. And also, she probably was paid for it. I'm not going to get into conversations <laughs> with you like this. <laughs> no, Can- I understand. No, I just like 
I, I like the drama of it all. I think Taylor Swift is a good woman with good intentions who does great for this world. Hold on. But what? this is literally one of our hot topics. Okay, let's get into it. No, <laughs> we should burn through our other stuff. Okay, you, let's burn through it then. <laughs> no more 10 minutes on We Are the World, which God bless you all for doing that. <laughs> I will watch the documentary when I'm feed feeding children, my children, and hopefully some children. God damn. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> This episode is so off the rails. Hello, you guys. Today's podcast is sponsored by HelloFresh. And whether you're trying to save money, eat better, or stress less, HelloFresh is here to help you do all three. Say hello to your most delicious year yet with fresh ingredients and chef-crafted recipes at a price you'll like delivered right to your doorstep. No more staring blankly into the fridge wondering, what will I make for dinner? Give HelloFresh a try and dig into their biggest menu yet with over 45 recipes to choose from each and every week. Each HelloFresh box is packed with farm fresh ingredients and everything arrives pre-portioned for less hassle and less food waste. I personally love their quick and easy meals, including their 15 minute recipes. That's even quicker than I can get delivery, but they also have wholesome health forward options like calorie smart and protein smart recipes each week. I hate when I'm hungry after a long day of work and I'm just looking and looking for something to eat. HelloFresh solves that problem for me because I know that when I walk into my kitchen, I have something that's delicious waiting to be made from HelloFresh. You all can experience the same. Go to HelloFresh.com slash TheSipFree and use code TheSipFree for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life available for a limited time at HelloFresh.com slash TheSipFree free with code the sip free hello fresh america's number one meal kit okay so get this okay i'll get it do you guys remember all my tax problems yeah so that you claimed that you adopted a child yeah, it, yeah. It, honestly ask austin he was like i i can vouch for lizzie it was easy the way that they tricked her into saying she had an adopted child austin's very nice no austin Austin's too nice. Too nice. Because sometimes I'm like, oh, Austin, you know, I'm a little too stupid for this. He goes, you're not too stupid for it. I'm like, no, Austin, I'm a little too stupid for this. And that's okay. <laughs> bless my brother. He is, he God sees bless the him. best in everyone. Which is crazy. People <laughs> could be doing the craziest things and he just thinks. I claim to foster child I don't person. have. <laughs> He's, they're good people. <laughs> Am I Austin? <laughs> Am I good people? You are a good people. But get this person. Honestly, I don't think he was just being nice when he said it was easy because literally he, we're going through when he was fixing it for me. The last thing they say is like, do you have a foster child? And do you want seven thousand dollars? And he's like, damn. <laughs> and I'm like, see, so when I'm blacked out in my ADD, I'm just like, yep. <laughs> yep, I do. Well, I would okay, like do you actually have ADD? Because we can't. I go. obviously do. Have you seen any of this episode? <laughs> I just did 10 minutes in hyper okay. speed on We Are the World. <laughs> 80 years after it happened. Okay. We remember. Well, did it just drop on Netflix? Is that why this is new to you? No, I think it's been on Netflix for like two months. Okay, I'm starting to black out and feel like I'm going to pass out you. because I had two cups of coffee and et cetera. And, and then I thought that's not enough because I still have a headache. So I'm on a third cup of coffee I and I had nothing to talk about. I hope you didn't finish the coffee uh, it's so i made amends to the state of california for my financial fraudery and, and I by said, she he, she means austin picked up this mess for her no i it's i paid it back it's not like austin just let them know i fucked up <laughs> but i austin didn't pay for it i paid for it oh, right so get this i have been now now the state of california for three months has been sending me bills for like $1,500 increments of just saying you owe this for your 2022. Interest. It's not interest. It's $1,500. That's not interest. And it's the same amount each fucking time. And because I'm so scared about doing it wrong, I've just been coughing it the fuck up Is like it an a idiot. Scam? It's not a scam, but something's fucking wrong because I shouldn't be getting the same bill every fucking month. It's crazy. It doesn't make any sense. And then Austin looked into it and he vouched for me. He goes, yeah, this is literally what you paid in December. And there's an electronic record with the state of California that says Lizzie paid this. And they just keep sending it back while my finger is twitching like crazy. Okay, so what's the conclusion? There is no conclusion yet. But at the same time that they're sending me these things, they sent me a fucking letter in the mail that said, claim your foster child and get $7,000. 
A letter in the fucking mail. They are out to get me. <laughs> the city of Los Angeles is out to get everyone. Like, and this you know is what? crazy. I'm done with that because uh, a different tax person told me recently, well, you're not technically in the city of Los Angeles. So you, because here you have to pay uh, LA or California taxes, city of LA taxes and the IRS. And I was like, so if I don't live in LA, I don't have to pay in LA taxes because this is technically unincorporated and not Los Angeles. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's whatever. Who cares? It's insane. Fuck all of you. Is this Ventura County? Mm. <laughs> Who can I don't really know. Say? I have I, no idea. You know, you should ask Austin. <laughs> I'm sure he knows. Okay, so you broke your husband's car oh. while your car's been broken? Oh, so that's a thing that had happened. I, my, I'm out of a car, kind of. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I think this is a bad episode. I think it's probably this one of our best. Really bad. Every time he says this, no, this is like borderline. I feel like I can't. Like this is us hitting the bottom line. I don't think so. I do. Do you want? I me think to- it's borderline unwatchable. Well, okay. okay. <laughs> There goes there goes all the good vibes. <laughs> Remember, we are the world. I have we... even more. We are the world news. You have more. We are the world oh, news. More. We are the world news. Oh, Did you God. ever see the rehearsal when Michael Jackson looks angrily at maybe Bruce Springsteen? I don't remember who it is, but they're rehearsing and someone like belts their notes and Michael Jackson's like mad at them for showing off and gives like a bad look. Have you seen this clip? I don't know why. Because <laughs> it's incredible. Look at the look that he gives him. He's not happy. Look, he's mad. Oh, that's Huey, who was supposed Huey, to replace sorry. Prince. So Prince didn't show up because he had social anxiety. But do you anxiety. see that look? He's I, I think that it's like famously <laughs> stated that Michael Jackson the whole time was like, why isn't everyone better? Oh. But it's because, you know, Michael Jackson grew up getting beaten for not being good enough. So that's true. He's probably not going to be very funny. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry for adding on to that. Okay. What do I do? Three. There you go. Um, okay, so Joe lent me his Tesla, which is really nice because I feel sexy driving it. And I drove through the flood to Costco, walked through an ankles deep of water in my fucking fancy newbies, get back in the car, and then I'm like, I can't really drive through the other flood waters because the Tesla's low. It's an electric car. I'm like, what's going to happen? I can't go that way. So I panic. I didn't panic. I was very cool, calm, and collected. <laughs> I decided I was not going to drive further into the flood, so I turn up to get back into the parking lot to drive out to the main road because the main road wasn't flooded. And on the drive up, I like bottom out and scrape the fuck out of the car. And then it sounds <laughs> like I'm dragging something. So I pull over in the rain and I look and the whole bottom of the car is off and just dragging. And it's like, what are the fucking odds? Like I didn't even do anything wacky. And then I'm like, I get it home and I go, I let Joe help me empty the car. And then I told him I destroyed it. And he was like, oh, God damn it. And then I had to take it to the Tesla place to get it fixed. But I don't, because my phone memory is all fucked up, I don't have the Tesla app. I just use the actual key. (laughs) And so we get the car up. First, the tow truck guy says, I can't drag the car up because if I do, it's going to pull out all the guts of the car because you took the fucking, the base off of it. So I was like, oh, that's a bummer. (laughs) How much did this cost you? Like $300, which isn't even that bad. Not at all. So I drive it up onto the fucking tow truck thing and then I park it and he secures it and then we're in the cab together and immediately the car alarm starts going off because I have the key in the cab. But now it's like impossible to get back into the car because it's all the way hoisted up. So we drive for 15 minutes through Van Nuys with the Tesla's alarm just blaring. (laughs) (laughs) You can't text Joe and say turn off the alarm in your app? He did once, but it doesn't matter because it's like the car is like, well, he's not here. So I'm going to keep doing this <laughs> so it just kept doing mm. it and then joe started fucking with us when we got to the tesla place and he turned on the music really loud and had it blasted <laughs> it was a fucking nightmare and then joe was like well lean into them a little bit because you should be able to drive the car in the rain without like nuts and bolts coming off and it bottoming out and i was like okay and so i like have to talk to the guys like hey so my husband wanted me to tell you that this is like maybe because it's under warranty and like this doesn't really seem like you know you should be able to drive your car and stuff that you could just maybe reduce the rate of the charge on it and he goes um in the nicest way possible ma'am this happened because of you (laughs) this is a you problem not a vehicle problem and because of that i cannot help you financially and i was like that's cool my husband just told me i had to say something along those lines and i figured i should try because i am the one who ruined his vehicle you are right about that (laughs) 
<laughs> and then I spent three hundred dollars, and then I left. I feel like that's going to be cheaper than me having to replace Shane's rims that I've run into every curb in Colorado. <laughs> Honestly, probably. Wow, yeah. you lucked out. I did. Um, I've <laughs> been obsessed with the traders on peacock and now they've put it on television too because it's so popular on peacock wow what is it it was the number one rated reality show on peacock and it, they thought wow this is doing well, so what good. is the show okay so it's basically mafia you know the game mafia yeah where there's two murderers and then you know well they're mafia members right the mafia members murder the townspeople right. so this is basically a spin on that in on reality television oh. where like all these people come to this mansion two people or more are assigned to be the murderers or the traitors in this scenario Got and it. they kill them off one by one and they're all like reality stars in their own right that are casted to be in the show <clears throat> can you two time it because i'm clicking out <laughs> <laughs> Is it just me or is this their worst episode ever? At least this ever? is airing right now and not something from 50 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but I, okay, first of all, two things. I'm so inspired by their production because although it's not, it doesn't match my aesthetic, it's just so fun and campy the way that they shoot this show. They have like these ridiculous drone shots paired with this great music and awesome sound effects uh -huh. that I'm now inspired to take this drone outside of our house and set up all these different shots to like really have these big moments to bring you into my vlogs. Oh, and I then it, it just cuts to me holding a camera like the same yeah, low production so as great. always. <laughs> <clears throat> So we'll see if that ever happens. But then, if you remember, a while ago, I had manifested. Just put me on one of these Netflix shows. Get me on Selling Sunset. Right. Put me on, um, I don't know, the we Real Friends of WeHo, which got canceled, I think. Um, and so I was watching The Traders. I was loving The Traders. If you haven't watched it already, I suggest you watch it because it's so fun. Um, so then... I, like a crazy person, went on IMDb, saw who casted the traders, went on Instagram, went, found the casting director, DM'd the casting director and said, put me on your show. And she said, apply for my different show. What's and then, the other show? Nobody could ever know. What do you mean? I don't know. It seems like an escape Open your DMs. I'm so life. dumb with your interpretations of conversations. <laughs> They're Lizzie, all fucking lies. Lizzie's texting me up a storm. I'm not replying to her. And I said, Lizzie, I'm too busy being a reality TV star. I'm too famous. I can't talk to you right, right. now. <laughs> Please open your DMs and let me read the message from and this And I'm person. acting like I've already been cast on her newest No one gives a fuck show? about your delusions. Let me read the fucking DM from the person she that happened She said, in apply to my new show. It's going to be a huge hit. What is the new show? She's posted about it on her Instagram. It's vague. Open it up. Up, you fucking annoying bitch <laughs> everybody cares about this it's big okay hold on everyone <laughs> now we have to sit here while he twitter turns <laughs> okay here it is That's my rylan impression i'm trying to remember her name okay here it is so here's all that it says in the casting breakdown now casting nationwide for a thrilling new competition series are you ready to escape a luxurious mansion with a fortune so it seems like an escape room to me yeah so they like put all these people in a mansion mm -hmm. and they're all trying to do we should apply for this looking for dynamic contestants from all walks of life to take part in this exciting social experiment so it's going to be on hulu and then i went to start to apply and it was really long so i haven't yet but in my mind i'm already cast so you're looking at the newest Hulu star. I am going to apply for us the second we wrap this podcast. Well, no, you do have to do like a one to two minute video about like who you are. Oh my God. That's so hard for us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to apply. I'm no, just we're saying. literally both applying the second we wrap this up. Yeah. Can yeah. you imagine if you get cast and I don't after all this? No, we're going to be a package. Living... We're a package deal. We're only half a person without the other. <laughs> right. And we can barely function together. I wonder if we could put our audition tape together. Should we just hit roll after this? That's what I'm saying. I think we should just nothing? put on the same sweater and just be conjoined. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like different this could be walks offensive. of life. Is it offensive? I don't know. Well, it's a very small Ask community that's that we're conjoined. offending. So is that okay? <laughs> no. Just oh, oh, I'm just kidding. We are the world. We are the side That's of these like the children. worst thing you could say because it's a small group of Chris, people. Is it okay it's fine to offend them? Does he have to delete it? Is it okay, <laughs> Chris? We know you have good intentions. It's like Taylor Swift bringing up Lana Del Rey. She meant well. She was literally just saying, we are all the spring queen 
<laughs> Spring Fling Queen. Yeah, but when Lana's also nominated, it doesn't feel right. Yeah, but so was Regina George, who got hit by a bus, and she got a piece of the crown, too, because it's just plastic. I can't talk to you. I'm so famous. I can't even talk to you anymore. <laughs> I might not help you apply it. It might just be me and Chris. Pack your bags, Chris. We're going to luxurious hotel. We're meeting okay. with riches. Let's wrap this up. Bub's got 15 teeth pulled, Can and then we've got to get into our... <laughs> Can you believe that? Isn't that The gay-ass outfits you've been putting him in every day. I literally, she's sending me photos of her dog, and I'm like, wow. You're my making... dog has had major surgery and he just called his outfits gay. <laughs> She's projecting serious homosexualness no, I'm on not, her dog. No, I'm not, dude. The t-shirts are... came in a pack. These are the gayest dog shirts. It was the cheapest shirts. way to get multiple t-shirts no. on him. Yeah, There's... he looks like he's trying to go fuck around at the Abbey in 2003. Ex I'll admit it. So you admit it. it. I'll admit it. It's he a looks... little gay. It's really gay. It's, it's a like... little gay. I said, you need to pack that little fucking dog up and take him to Palm Springs because he'll thrive with those retired gay men in the sun. <laughs> he's so cute, Chris. <laughs> It's so, oh, like the one of him stretching. It's so gay. <laughs> it's pretty gay. I love him so much. It's so Bubs is just a tiny boy. So he's got tiny boy mouth, which means his teeth are all fucking rotten and there's nothing I can fucking do. We brush his teeth every fucking day of the week. We put special powder in his food every fucking night. We give him calcium. We try so hard for this baby boy because he's got beautiful teeth and they're all they're all rotting from the inside out. The vet was like, dude, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I want to show you these x-rays because I would suggest you go to a dental specialist for your dog because I know you'd take him but they're not going to be able to help you either this dog's mouth is just fucked and i'm just like how I, many teeth do dog ha dogs have dude a lot because this motherfucker loses teeth every year when he gets a clean and he still he has deep, more yeah he still has teeth in there okay but he, he lost his two front fangs now now he has no front teeth on oh. top and he does his instagram following still like him i hope so oh Cause just remember we are the world <laughs> we are the toothless puppies but um he's he's actually recovering really well he also had a fatty a benign fatty lump removed from his shoulder so that's why he's wearing the shirts he has staples oh. and he, how long is the recovery process fucking 10 days wow. like i feel like i'm always in a recovery process with these motherfuckers and he's like a mutt like he's a street dog like where's where's what is going on Okay, we'll get into a few hot topics. And do you then want to say something nice about my dog before we move on? Well, I was thinking about just how much I love you, in all honesty. Thank you. Because, you know, you are my best friend. But nothing nice about my dog. Oh, no, I love your dog, too. Thank you. He just... <laughs> no, like... <laughs> there's, you know, like, Bubs brings out my inner bully. Yeah. I don't know what provokes. Like, I'm not a mean guy you look like an 80s villain but for some reason part. like bubs makes me feel like a bully like i just want to push his buttons he really does it's crazy like it's i see nasty. bubs and i just want to like not in a mean way i just want to like be like hey man that outfit's pretty gay you know uh, like i just want to like say something a little nasty and he growls at him he'll growl at bubs he's literally trying to like provoke a fight yeah <laughs> <laughs> i see him sometimes i'm like he does do that it's <laughs> nuts <laughs> But it's in all fun and games. No, it's not. <laughs> Sometimes we like each other. He's a fucking 10 pound dog. We're like battling homosexuals for their mom's attention. <laughs> It's like sometimes I think you like him too much. I love him so much. I wish I could bring him here. You can't. Okay, let's get into some hot topics that are lukewarm as of now. Everybody's you've heard everyone's take on the Super Bowl, I'm sure. It's Wednesday. <laughs> uh yeah. I will say this. Taylor's presence at the Super Bowl marked the 13th game that you she has. You guys are such attended. losers. You guys are counting the games to know that it's her favorite number. I mean, the I'm not counting games. shit. This was a headline. Somebody I else know. counted. And listen, I love Taylor Swift. I love how happy she is about this. I love that the world's happy about it. The thing that annoys me is the endless headlines. And I get everyone's the making money. The endless headlines. But it's like you scroll left on your phone and it's just like, I get it. Like, I saw it. I clicked into the Super Bowl because of Taylor Swift. I was sitting in my nursery on YouTube TV watching the Super Bowl on my phone for a glimpse of Taylor Swift, asking anyone if they had cut away to her yet. You yeah. know, like, I'm here for it, too. I just, like, all the headlines are too much for me. I 100% agree with you. That's also why, like, our, our hot topics are light this week, because for nine fucking days now every headline has been about whether or not taylor's gonna make it from japan to fucking las vegas even though we all already know but last week i was i was nasty <laughs> 44 I'm can you so write 44 30 down i'm so sorry we've recently realized that's a word that gets demonetized on youtube uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, okay. I was nasty about Taylor Swift and her jet setting. I do have to differentiate her jet setting from the Kardashians' jet settings because Taylor Swift is a benevolent angel goddess on this earth and she is spreading empowerment and self love and joy. And like she creates. You know what I love the most about her? What? Her willingness to live. Yep. That woman is acting like sicknesses and viruses and colds don't exist. She did five nights in Japan on the Eras Tour, yeah. then went to the Super Bowl in a box with tons of people, then went to the after party and has stacked shows in a couple of days from now. Yeah. It's like this woman is fearless and she's partying at these events. Fearless. She's drinking. She's having fun. Yeah. And that's why I think... Damn, this girl is living life to the She's fullest. She's living, and laughing, good for and her. loving. I'm yeah. too afraid to get sick, to, even in my little bubble of doing nothing. Yeah. And this woman is jet setting around the world, acting fearless. I love her. Good for her. Good for her. So that brings us to the, well, do we care? We're at 45 minutes. Yeah, we have pregnancy cravings to get to. Well, uh, to be completely honest, you guys, we don't give a shit about these other topics. <laughs> um, I will say super sick that Beyonce dropped two new songs and announced her second part of the Renaissance trilogy. And did you enjoy Usher? I did enjoy Usher. I thought Usher made quads sexy and like, I never thought I'd say that out loud. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Did Look, you watch? Uh, yes. Did you see him on those quads? Which are your quads? Quads are the four-wheeled roller skates. Oh, I thought that was a body part, like the quads. It's also a body part. Okay. Um, yes, that was pretty impressive. Awesome. <laughs> so we'll be back with pregnancy cravings. <laughs> Today's podcast is also sponsored by Rocket Money. And if I asked you how many subscriptions you have active, would you be able to list all of them and how much you're paying? Well, if you would have asked me this question before I started using Rocket Money, I would have said yes, but let me tell you, I would have been so, so wrong. With Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. And if I see something I don't want, I can actually cancel it with a tap. I never have to sit on the phone with customer service ever again. And Rocket Money will even try to get you a refund for the last couple months of wasted money and negotiate to lower your bills by up to 20% for you. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. And if you didn't know, Rocket Money is a personal finance app that helps you with your subscriptions, monitors your spending, and obviously helps you lower your bills. I love it because I can see exactly what's coming in every week versus what's going out. They constantly will update me on my credit score and they always notify me if there's a big purchase, which I find very useful. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped its members save on average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. So stop wasting your money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash sip. That's rocketmoney.com slash sip. Rocketmoney.com slash sip. Are you? Oh my gosh. What are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm getting. You're getting permission from Gwyneth Paltrow if you can have something or not? Yeah. Oh, uh, if it's a, okay. These are the most popular pregnancy cravings out there um, that our producer Shane got for us. <laughs> uh, I think we should start with the easiest to just kind of snack upon, which is Cheez Its with Nutella. Do you have a good shot of that, Christopher? Gorgeous. The way I'm mouth watering over it. Oh, Chris, put your headset on. Oh. oh, Chris. Can you not do 500 million things at once? Come Chris, on, Chris. do more, Chris. Did you already take a bite? No, I just licked the new teller. All right. Three, two, one, everybody. Cheers. Mm. That is right by me. Mm-hmm. Mm. What do you think, Chris? It's really good. It works. It's really good. I do think that there are dyes in Cheez-Its, mm. and I do think that they're... That mm. Nutella is not as healthy as they want you to think it is. Mm. The app, did people think Nutella is healthy? Maybe that was just me. Mm. The aftertaste is so specific to something from my childhood. Poop. Mm. You know what? It's actually it brings back the vanilla wafer. Oh, do you guys taste that at the end? No. You know those wafers with the cream in the middle you know that you pick it. apart. Oh, you're not getting that. I don't think vanilla wafers have cream in the middle that you pick apart. Uh, I think vanilla wafers are just... No, oh. I mean those like... I do taste that. I don't know that. what they're called. I do taste that. I know what you're talking about. Those little the little the waffly wafers. Cook cookies. Yes, yeah. with the little cream in the middle. Yeah. I love it. Hey, Chris. Mm. Yeah? Could you Google what dyes are in Cheez-Its? Yeah. Oh, my God. 
Thanks, Betty. No, I, I want to eat more of them, but I don't want to fucking cram more dyes up in my bitch. Right, I understand. I would say that one is a 10 out of 10. Did it make you sick as a pregnant woman? No, I enjoyed it, which mm. is why I want to know if I can eat more of it. So this next one is something I think you're really going to enjoy. Okay. Well, I don't know how you feel about the second ingredient. <laughs> Ooh, pickles and peanut butter I fuck with. Have you had this specifically before? I have not. I have because I like a peanut butter burger. Oh, you sick bitch. <laughs> there you go if you want to try it, Chris. Are these classic classics? Make sure that you get like a full-blown dip, though. Who? This yeah. is a thing people crave? Yeah. Pregnant women. My mouth Ooh. is watering, but my mouth... No way. But my mouth stays watering. Like, that's one of the symptoms of pregnancy. <laughs> this sounds good to you, though? Yeah. Cheers. Mm. I oh. love pickles personally and peanut butter, but I would have oh. never thought of this ever. <laughs> not working for right. Oh, I hate it. I do not think those work together in any context. Really? I don't think it's bad. <laughs> the acidity of that. You mean the sourness? Mm. Whoa. What do you think? Whoa. There's nothing about this that works for me. It's a lot. Do you know what's crazy, though? I, I don't. I'm somewhere in between you two. It's not like the worst thing I've ever had. And if you put a ton of peanut butter, not not bad. <laughs> See, I did a big <laughs> scoop of peanut butter, and I felt like the, oh! the muted flavor. Uh, this makes peanut butter feel muted, and I think peanut butter yeah. has a strong taste. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a I think you have to, like, love. If you love a pickle, then I can understand. I'm not a pickle person. Like, you'd never find a pickle in my... Mm. I'm a pickle girl. When I was little, I used to time myself on how quickly I could eat a jar of pickles. Does it not just make you like, wow. like the sourness of the pickle? Mm -mm. You guys are sick. But I thought I would please. hate this, and I don't hate it. Me neither. I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> what did your husband say about the, uh, the corn dog? It'll kill you. No. Mm -hmm. Hot dogs aren't great. Everyone you eat takes a day off your life, according to one doctor. What about a hot dog? What about a bite? Outside of America where they're not garbage ingredients. Mm. So will you and your baby not be eating that? Mm. Or is one bite fine? Listen, I'm not going to be upset because it's your it's your life and your baby. Uh, I'm definitely going to eat it. I also feel like pregnant women aren't supposed to have hot dogs. I wonder why it would be a pregnancy craving then. I mean, because you can. Like, it's all up to you. Because you can technically get like listeria and food poisoning off spinach too. I think that's honestly when I had food poisoning at the end of last year, yeah. it was the spinach in a salad. That sounded like a fart. Uh, no, it was me going. Mm. I know. As a person wearing headphones, I need you to know <laughs> it sounded like you leaned over and let out a tiny fart. I think I like the pickle. <laughs> okay, everyone take. I love the pickle. Everyone, I hate the pickle. I think it's awful. Ever a uh, corn dog, Chris? Oh yeah. And what the combination with this is is vanilla ice cream. Oh yuck. See, this one I actually feel like sounds decently good to me. Because you're sick in the head. I put spoons in here so that we could just like swap. I mean, vanilla ice cream on everything sounds good to me, though. Oh, my gosh. The steam that's coming off of this as it's... I got to go now. I can't even wait for it. I got to go. It's <laughs> mm. good. Mm. Damn. <laughs> Take my life, corn dog. <laughs> it's almost like a funnel cake. It feels like fried dough. The jizz dripping down. With the ice cream. I licked it before I could show anyone. I know. It was really gay. Mm. <laughs> I could eat this as like a full-blown meal. Like a dessert meal. Honestly, it's delicious. A cheat day. I could just keep... Mm. Oh, my God. Chris is almost done with his. <laughs> with one bite. He literally took Look. one bite and his <laughs> hot dog is gone. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. There is something very sexual and very gay about the way you eat everything. I wish I had a camera on Chris, but I fucked up. <laughs> Everyone's going to be mad Are at you going to eat that whole Can thing? Can you imagine all the comments? They're all going to be so mad Chris isn't Baby, visible. Baby, you're going to be sick. No, this is delicious. You have to go do a whole other podcast after this. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh. The ice cream in every bite. Is exquisite, and you know I haven't had a trash corn dog in years. Right, trash corn dogs are the shit. The best. Yeah, the dough on them, or what? What is this? Corn. Mm. It's a corn dog. Cornmeal. <laughs> mm. 
And can we talk about vanilla ice cream? Are you going to seriously make me sit here and watch you eat that whole fucking thing? Can we do the next thing? So this isn't one of your pregnancy cravings. It's not, but it's also particularly bad because of the drawn out nature of watching you eat an entire fucking corn dog <laughs> with ice cream. The next one's worse. Well, going, mm, 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 mm. Chris is done with his. Did you like it, Chris? Mm-hmm. What? I'm a huh. It's delicious. <laughs> so good. The, well, the Nutella cheese, it's pretty great too. Uh, you need your spoons, everyone. Mm. This next one is Cuckoo Crazy Banana. Oh, I won't do it. You have to. I can't. Oh, there's Red Dye 40. Red Dye 40, probably yellow dye in it. But also, I can't do jalapenos. I'm a punk ass bitch. Okay, Captain Crunch. Oh, with it jalapenos. does smell good, though, actually. I'll take a bite. <laughs> Give me some milk. Okay. I need some Who milk. Who thinks of these? Wait, it smells Pregnant dumb. women. It what? smells This is divine. coming from the minds of pregnant women. What? I can't wait till I have cravings. That will be fun. And I can't wait to go live out your actual craving. That will be fun for you, too, because yeah. that will be food that you enjoy. And uh-huh. we can go on tours of your cravings. I would love to. Yeah. Right now, I'm just in a sad sack zone where they're like, eat bland foods because you can get them down. And I've never been that girl. I've never been a girl who like, I love eating. You know wait, what I mean? This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> It smells good though, Chris. Like, smell it. Does it really? Yeah, this smell might it. be the wildest thing ever. I don't know about this one. Smell it, bro. I like to get my cereal just like a little moist before I take the first bite. Yeah, everything you say is just really gay and sexual about food. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's similar experiences for me. <laughs> okay, so I have like a pretty big bite with. Do you have a jalapeno in there? Mm-hmm. No, you need. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Oh, I get closer to you. Hmm. The hot jalapeno t- turns more into a tang. Mm-hmm. Wow, this is actually incredibly thought out. Mm-hmm. No way. I feel like the flavor profile is like elevated and sophisticated. What? I hate to like give something so wild such praise, but I feel like whoever invented this, their taste palette is elevated. A superior woman. Mm-hmm. It's good as fuck. Like it, and it develops with each bite. It's good as fuck. Because the jalapeno kind of gets. God damn you, Crunch Machines, for putting so many dyes in your shit because that is delicious. Mm. Wow, wow, I really like that. Who, who would have thought? A pregnant woman. <laughs> We're the smartest, what? most superior things in the world. This is the most shocking, interesting food combination I have ever loved. Mm-hmm. I'm that pickle and away. peanut butter, Lizzie, is disgusting. It makes me want to die inside. Good. The <laughs> fact that I don't hate this blows my mind. It's wild. Wow. I need to get my, a bite. Can you mute me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess we could just mute all of ourselves and say goodbye so that I can finish eating the court. I am going to be sick because we also have dinner waiting for us before we finish um, the Shane Dawson podcast. And that don't blame us. Blame Shane. Okay. If you didn't like this podcast, it's because Lizzie and I are no good afternoon. Like we you should <laughs> not we should not be performing in any regard afternoon. We should really only be eating. Afternoon, yeah. Yeah. That's We're the, really good at eating and shopping afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Nine to noon, I can work. We can rally and party if there's an arrows tour happening around six. You have peanut butter falling and all like over. pink everywhere. Mm-hmm. Cute. Well, we love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging in there with us. Maybe next week we'll be a little more put together. Maybe not. I think it could be fun to do some everywhere. of the bump dates on the podcast where yeah. you like read what's going on inside to everyone. I'm a little annoyed by my app, though. I will admit that. Which app are you using? I'm using the What to Expect app. That's what I used when our surrogate was pregnant. And it seems delayed in comparison to what I'm experiencing. Really? Yeah. Which is confusing for me. And annoying because it'll be like, like, here's a bad example. But like I had a cold when I like when I first found out I was pregnant, I got a cold mm-hmm. and I didn't know I that I when I talked to the doctor to make my first appointment, they're like, don't fucking take anything unless it's Tylenol. And then Joe and I went online. And it's like there's a class action lawsuit against Tylenol from pregnant women because it does something to the fetus. And then I'm like, oh, what the fuck? And then it's like I got a fever 
And I was like, oh God, what do I do with a fever? And my friend who's a nurse was like, you got to go to the ER if it gets 102 degrees. And if you go to the ER, they're not going to give a shit about you because you're not 14 weeks or 24 weeks pregnant or something like that. And I was like, well, I'm not going to the fucking ER ever anyway, because that's where you get the Ebola virus, like mm. even if you're not sick. And so like then three weeks later, I opened up my app and it's like, here's what to do when you have a cold. I guess, well, now you have an but OBGYN. They, but they right? only unlock those certain things per day. So they wait until you're like you're at a certain day mark for them to give you a hot tip about having a cold and being pregnant. Yeah. And that's annoying. That is annoying. Yeah. And then there's other things, too, where it's like. Try out a different app. I don't know any other apps. All You and everyone else use this I app. I had a different one before it was confirmed twins. But mm. then the app that I first used didn't uh, have like twins as an option. Uh, so then I made the jump to what to expect. Got it. Um, But. At least you have an OBGYN now. Yeah. The other thing that rubs me the wrong way is the woman in every video is clearly... She's the owner, by the way. She <sighs> she made the app. Well, good job, lady. Um, <laughs> you should probably hire a different director for your little videos because they are not killing it. What? I found them perfectly fine for what She's they like are. tilted up like this in every video, like looking, reading off a teleprompter that's too high for her head. Well, we're just listening about the information. We don't... It's not about her production value. <sighs> for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the podcast. Lizzie's uh, first pregnancy video is up on her channel. Make sure you are subs subscribed to Chris as well. He, you can't see him, but he's here. He's here. <laughs> he's been laughing and munching. Um, thank you so much for watching and supporting our show. We'll see you next week. We love you very much. Goodbye. And, and that's, that's the sip. Ah, where's my lapenos? Bye. Bye.